So I'm going to talk you through um, a really super brief way to approach a social media marketing campaign. Now there are kind of seven bits to it, I think. So the first one that I would always start with is audience analysis. And that is looking at what your audience is currently doing, listening to your audience as well to find out what their needs are. And by that, I don't mean asking them what they want to see. I'm not asking them to get involved in the kind of creative process for your next ad campaign. What I'm saying is um, spend time with them, talk to them, find out what's important to them, what makes them tick. Um, and if you can address those concerns that you're un uncovering with your audience, then that's really going to work for you. Uh, the second part is um, making sure you've got a really strong campaign brief. And by that, I mean making sure that you're super clear to any creative teams that you're working with what it is that you want to achieve. So a good campaign brief should have objectives. So you should be saying this is what the campaign should do. You need to be telling your creative team, and by that I mean graphic designers, copywriters, developers, that sort of thing. Um, you need to be making sure that they know and that they feel comfortable with what you want your customers to do, think, feel, say as a result of this campaign. Um, so you need to have good objectives in there. You need to give them as much information about what you're trying to achieve and the customer um, and where it's going to appear as well, this campaign. So if you've got, say, tw Twitter cards that you're designing or you're doing a video as part of a campaign, it all needs to hang together and it really needs that kind of initial briefing to make sure that that works. Um, that kind of flows then into the creative brief. So you, your campaign brief is more about kind of what are you going to do, where are you going to do it, where will your posts sit, when are you going to put them out there, um, kind of a little bit of media planning as well in there. The creative brief is the fun part, that's kind of what everyone thinks social media marketing is, and yes it is, but it's a small part, um, and that's having the ideas, so um, making the cool videos or trying to do something that's a bit viral or engaging with influencers, that sort of stuff. Um, another really important thing, if you are working in teams, say for example, if you're you're maybe doing an assignment at university or you're um, out there and you're in the workplace working in, in a team to produce a campaign, you need to be really clear on who's got what role. So who's doing what? Um, and it sounds really simple because everyone has a job description, but it doesn't always work out that way. So what I tend to do at the start of my projects is just sit down and say, okay, so who's going to do what? Who's going to take care of the audience analysis? Who's going to own the campaign brief? Who's going to do the media planning? Who's going to be briefing creative? Who's got the final decision making rights on whatever it is that we're doing? And being super, super clear about that and even getting it down in writing can be helpful and just sharing it with the team. I'm not suggesting one person is a tyrant and kind of rules by kind of force, but do it collaboratively together. Just decide where people's strengths lie and then play to their strengths. Um, the next thing that I would suggest that you really, really need is a timing plan. Now, this is probably not as sexy as the creative brief, but it's just as import important, if not more so. Um, you can have the best idea in the world, but if you're not putting it out there at the right time, then it's just going to fall flat. So um, use what you know about your audience, use your analytics, look at where people are spending their time and what conversations are taking place that you can get involved in and make sure that you're engaging in those conversations. Don't just think about the content because that won't work. You need to be thinking about it as a conversation and a relationship that you're building. Um, media plan, you need to work out what you're going to do when. Um, so where your images are going to go, where your Twitter cards are going to go, uh, where your video content is going to sit, how it all links together, and um, the journeys that you want people to go on and put that together. And then lastly, and perhaps most importantly, is budget. Um, so it's great having the most creative idea in the world if you can't bring it in um, for the money that you've got to spend on it. So have someone in charge of budget and make sure that you're kind of checking in on a regular basis. So just to recap, those are make sure that you're doing audience analysis, make sure that you've got your uh, campaign brief, make sure that you've got your creative brief, make sure that you're agreeing roles, make sure you've got a timing plan, a media plan, and make sure that you're sticking to budget.